Hi, I'm Sheila Frazier, and uh, welcome to Women's History Month. When I was thinking of who I would talk about, um, I thought about a woman who I just have always admired, Shirley Chisholm. And Shirley Chisholm was someone who I admired because of her strength, of her, of her, um, her will to, to do what it was that she had set her mind to do. She didn't let anyone uh, derail her. She was, she was just an amazing woman. She was a former um, vice chair of the Democratic Caucus. She was the first black woman to be elected into Congress. You know, and she was an author, you know, an educator. She was an amazing person. But what stood out for me was just her character. You know, she didn't let anything, anything derail her. When she spoke in California, she talked about, in, in the time that, that she was running during that time, she came up, up against a lot of opposition, particularly from her white counterparts. And she talked about that. She said they, they just, to them, she said, they said, who would this little black woman think she is? Well, she showed them. She showed them that she had the courage to do, to do what she had set out to do. And in 1972, she set out to, to, do, um, to do something pretty impressive that had never been done. She was the first black uh, major party candidate for the office of presidency. Now, who did that then? In the 70s? But she, um, she was an icon, an I can person. She felt as though, as, as, as though there was no glass ceiling. She stood for all of us who, um, who wanted to accomplish something. She did it for, for those wonderful black women who are, who are in politics today. I think of in New York, the Attorney General is a black woman, Letitia James. The next president of the United States probably <laughs> will be will be Stacey Abrams, a black woman. Unheard of, unheard of. And we all stand on her shoulders. It could not have happened unless there were women like Shirley Chisholm. So I celebrate her this day during uh, Women's History Month. And uh, I hope to celebrate her every year. Shirley Anita Chisholm. She was, she was powerful.